friends! Today, we will learn about decomposers. So let's start. Let's first learn about various terms that we will be using while learning about the cleaning up squad or decomposers of our earth. Producers. Organisms that produce their own food with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide, and other nutrients from water and soil. These are also called autotrophs. All plants and some microorganisms are producers or autotrophs. Consumers or heterotrophs. All the organisms that consume food prepared by producers directly or indirectly are called consumers. All living organisms except for plants are consumers and consumers can be of four types. Herbivores that only eat plants, omnivores eat plants as well as flesh of other animals, carnivores they eat flesh of the other animals. The four type of consumers are known as detritivores and they are further of two types scavengers and decomposers. Now let's learn about these detritivores and they are also the cleaner of our earth. Now we will learn about scavengers. Animals that obtain energy from dead animals and waste matter by breaking it into smaller pieces are known as scavengers. For example, vultures, earthworms, lobsters, and maggots, hyenas, seagulls, crows, turkey vultures, and ants. They play the role of scavengers by eating waste that has begun to decay, thereby acting as the cleaners of our earth. The second type of detritivores are decomposers. Decomposers are the organisms that survive on dead remains of other organisms. They break down complex organic molecules into simpler molecules that are returned to the soil and are again used by autotrophs or the producers. In other words, decomposers obtain energy from the dead and waste matter by breaking it down into chemical parts which are reused by producers and the examples of decomposers are bacteria and fungi. It is because of these decomposers that all the organic waste is decomposed in days, weeks or months and becomes a part of the soil and it no longer remains as waste. So they are also helping in cleaning. What do we learn? We learned that all living organisms on this earth can be producers or consumers. And producers are also called autotrophs, and they are the green plants that produce their own food using sunlight, carbon dioxide, nutrients, and water. And consumers are all the life forms except for green plants, and they depend on plants and other animals for their food. Consumers are of four types, herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, and detritivores, where herbivores eat plants and plant products. Omnivores eat both plant products as well as the flesh of other animals. Carnivores eat the flesh of other animals. And detritivores, that is the cleaner of our earth, are of two types, scavengers and decomposers. Scavengers are the animals that obtain energy from dead and waste matter by breaking it into smaller pieces. And decomposers are the organisms that obtain energy from dead and waste matter by breaking it down into chemical parts which are again reused by producers. The important difference between scavengers and decomposers is that scavengers ingest organic matter and then digest it but in the case of decomposers, they secrete digestive enzymes onto the dead organic matter first and then absorb the digestive material from that organic matter. I repeat, they secrete digestive enzymes onto the dead organic matter outside their body without ingesting that dead organic matter and then absorb the digestive material which is already outside of their body. 
So the breakdown of dead organic matter occurs outside of their body by the digestive enzymes that they release on the dead organic matter and then they absorb the digested material. And these decomposers are also called as saprotrophs, and their mode of nutrition is known as saprotrophic nutrition. Now let's learn the importance of these decomposers in our atmosphere. Have you ever seen a rotting piece of bread or any other piece of eatable? Will it stay rotten forever? If you throw any piece of bread or any slice of fruit or cookie in mud, how long will you find it there? It will decompose or become part of the soil in a few days. It will no longer be there if you check it in a couple of days. Have you ever seen insects? What happens to them when they die? They decompose and become a part of the soil. Organic waste from our homes. What happens to that? It is converted to usable nutrients using worms as decomposers and that can be added to the soil for making it more fertile or making your plants grow bigger. So rotting food doesn't look or smell great, but it contains a precious nutrient like carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. And all living organisms require these nutrients to create cells, tissues, and to provide energy for all the living processes. All types of compostable or biodegradable waste that is waste from one's living organisms is broken down and recycled by decomposers to produce nutrients, which are returned to the soil and more food is grown. Decomposers are also used in industrial applications, such as oil spill cleanups. We will learn about them in another section. We already know about food chains. Here we have an example of a food chain. Producers are producing complex compounds as nutrients by using water, nutrients, and carbon dioxide and sunlight. Thus, nutrients become a part of the producers. Now these producers are eaten by grasshoppers and the nutrients become a part of the grasshopper. Now the grasshopper is eaten by the frog and the nutrients become a part of the frog. Now the frog is eaten by a snake and the nutrients become a part of the snake. Now what happens when all these die? They are eaten by various types of detritivores for energy and detritivores are scavengers and decomposers. Dead remains are broken down by scavengers into smaller pieces. And smaller pieces of dead remains are decomposed by decomposers into nutrients and carbon dioxide, which are returned to the soil and the atmosphere respectively, and again used by autotrophs for producing more food for us. So in every food chain, producers create complex organic substances using nutrients from the soil, water, carbon dioxide, and energy from the sun. And those organic substances are taken as food by the herbivores. And these herbivores are also taken as food by omnivores and carnivores. So nutrients produced by plants as complex organic substances are locked in all plants and animals. And these complex substances in all plants and animals are broken down by decomposers, which they then return to the soil as nutrients. So the locked nutrients are unlocked from the dead remains by decomposers. So the decomposers complete the matter cycle by returning essential nutrients to the soil, and the whole system acts as a self-cleaning system of the earth. So friends, today we learned a lot about decomposers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!